I was kind of always a target for one reason or another. I was bullied for being fat, for not having enough money, for not wearing the right clothes. It happened pretty much until the second I graduated high school. I never fit in. I was odd. I've been with Sephora over six years now. When I started, I had just turned 21. I was fresh out of makeup school and really kind of felt like I spent so many years trying to fit like a square peg in a round hole. I grew up in one of those places where you couldn't really get away with too much because everybody is in everybody's business. <laughs> Come a couple of years ago, I kind of finally had to be honest with myself about something. I was in a relationship long-term with my boyfriend at the time, who I had been with coming up on five years. We were almost engaged. And I had to go through a period of self-discovery in that I am queer, and that is like a person that I am. I think I struggled a lot with that and to figure that out because I couldn't find a hardline label that felt really comfortable to me. Queerness to me um, and a queer identity is falling anywhere under that LGBT umbrella. I know over time, queer has been kind of slung at people as something that was seen as really negative. But for me, it's been really nice to kind of reclaim something that is so much my identity and something I hold very dear. One of the things that I really pride myself on most is my teaching ability. SUBC or Sephora University beauty classes, we have a specific facet called Classes for Confidence. We offer classes to communities such as women who are coming out of or currently experiencing chemotherapy treatment or folks that are re-entering the workforce after homelessness or domestic violence situations. My favorite being the Classes for Confidence for trans and non-binary folks. So it's a class to specifically make sure that they have the support to feel confident, to leave with that confidence, to go back out and get that job or feel a little better when they look at themselves in the mirror or just feel more secure in their own body. Every time I get to teach one of those classes, it feels like an absolute privilege. If this is proving anything, I want people to know that no matter what age you are in your life, no matter what point you're at, it is literally never too late. Being your most authentic self is something that you will never, ever regret.